We have gotten some freedom from the dogs. <laughs> we're like, we're like out on a date <laughs> without the dogs. We're Jen and Guy. Back in June, we decided to rent out our house and travel around the U.S. Our plan to rent monthly Airbnbs wasn't working out due to the lack of pet-friendly rentals. So last week, we decided to make the 20-hour trek home through the smoke from the Oregon and California wildfires to start building a camper van. One of the things we've been doing is we've been trying to rent vans so we can know what we want in our build. We did find Joe and Jen's van recently on Outdoorsy. And although our schedules didn't match each other so we couldn't actually rent their van, we were able to find an hour to get together and we got a really good tour. We got a 2015 Dodge Promaster 2500, uh, 159 inch length. Uh, did a full remodel on it. Uh, bed, platform, shower, toilet, sink. The first one that I did was a client's one. Uh -huh. And it was a Promaster, yeah. It was a Promaster. And we were looking into getting a van, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're like, you know what, why don't we get another ProMaster because I, I actually saved a lot of templates and stuff to, totally. to do it, so mm -hmm. it was a lot quicker the second time around. Right. In all of our builds, we each pick like what we absolutely have to have, and I had to have a shower. Yeah. <laughs> I found teak tiles, okay. which is extremely expensive, but it's unbelievably lightweight, it's durable, it's I waterproof, it's, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. So we spent probably the most money on the shower part. Yeah. <laughs> Feel free to hop in if you like okay. to check it out. I'm standing here because yeah. what's really cool is that I made this ledge yeah. that opens it up this way more. Right. So it gives you that a little bit more elbow room that's in here, smart. you know. So I'm standing straight up and I can, you know, move. So that's really nice. How is it? It, it feels really good in there. <laughs> right? Yeah. For, a, for a van shower. Totally. <laughs> And the nice, nice little sliding retractable door. Like these things are really cool. Like I love these things. They, instead of like a curtain or something, right, you know, yeah. it's it's unreal. Normally the shower will keep the cassette toilet in there as well too. Um, if we're at a campground long enough, we'll just bring like a pop-up tent and uh -huh. put it in there if you want to. Right. Have more space to shower. Uh, nice deep single sink right here. And right underneath here is our hot water heater. And water pump is located underneath. So it's a six gallon Eco, Eco Smart uh, mini water heater. Water pump is down there. Uh, the drainage just goes directly into my gray water tanks underneath and I'll show you that after. Okay. Um, Your faucet here come to do kind water Kind of swivel outside. out this way, yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. And do you guys use that? We haven't used it like this, but I'll show you the reason why. So yeah. We have our little stovetop propane set. So this thing is really cool. It just comes out. <coughs> then bam, get a little cook stop in here. And then I put the propane tank right underneath in here. And you just turn it right on and boom, you're ready to go. And it's really easy to just get it out of there when it empties. You can, so it's easy to refill it. Uh, got a little TV in here with a DVD player awesome. in it. Awesome. Have an Amazon Fire Stick on it too. So if anybody wants to hook up their Amazon Fire Stick too, they can do that too. Nice full size bed back here. The only thing I had to do back here was I actually had to cut that much off of it. Um, with these uh, Pro Masters, the the max width that you can get really get out of here is just about five foot ten. Yeah. Um, the lower you go, so if, let's say you had the bed lower than the countertop, it would be five foot eleven. Because like the vans, they go like that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so for me, I'm five foot ten. I just sleep a little sideways and I push her out of the way. <laughs> but we've had clients that were six feet two. Yeah. Oh yeah. We had a guy six foot two, and he said it. He was just fine inside her. Space to get to the back. Uh, yeah. If you need anything. That's a big garage back there. And I'll show you guys the garage yeah. here in a minute. Okay. Um, here are all my switches. I got my gray water. Uh, actually on a magnet or a, a switch down there so you just flip this and it opens up the gray water and that's when you can so dump cool. it. I uh, actually have both of the gray water tanks down there with heating pads on it so in the winter time you can be in the snow and they won't freeze up. Uh, water pump switch. Got my lights here. They're all on dimmers which is really cool. USB. This is my solar on off. So anytime you want to just do solar for your outlets and whatnot, or your TV, that's my switch right there. So that's kind of awesome. like my control center. Yeah. Then over here, 
So basically the same thing with my wall, another switch, big USB charging five, six or five or yeah, six ports over here for USB. So I don't know why I put that many in, but that's good. <laughs> we have a lot of people that have cell phones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they'll switch over there for the light in there. There's a lot of space that you can put inside these things. Um, the handles are really nice. The handles are yeah. really cool. We're just kind of in the process of learning with them because they're really nice looking, but when you cut the metal out that that's thin, it makes it super weak. Mm -hmm. So like a lot of them end up being like a little bit bent uh -huh. and stuff. So you kind of have to warp them back into shape once in a while. So I don't know, we might keep them, we might go with something else, but it's nice because you can just, it's screwed from the back. So you don't have to mm -hmm. fill any holes later you know, just anywhere. And then a little cooler down here. Um, this all runs off solar as well. It's got a nice deep cooler. Yeah. Um, I actually made the drawer a little bit bigger, so if you wanted to get a bigger bit uh, cooler, that you could fit it in here. And this one here is so a nice. nice hanging closet. You hang up all your jackets and stuff. And then big old pantry that you can either store food or you can use this as like your closet, like for t-shirts down here and then hanging stuff up here. Nice. And what we do up here is just put all of our shoes and everything up right. there. So you want to tell us what yeah. all the... the so I'm going to start over here on this side. Um, so like I was telling you earlier with the faucet in there, uh, the reason why we don't need to use that one because I installed an outside shower rinse station back here. Awesome. So keep the little hose in here. It and spray. So nice. Wash and the dogs. And I'm thinking yeah. about yeah. getting like a different nozzle or a different head. You don't like so that. So I could oh. mount like something like an, a shower head or something right here. Yeah. You know, so that you can take an really outside nice. shower yeah. if you want. Yeah. Quick little rinse. So it's hot and cold water. Um, the water fill for my water tank is right here. And where are your water tanks located? Right behind this door. Okay. I like how neat your whole setup is. <laughs> it's like really pretty. Yeah. <laughs> this is a great feature, uh, yeah. character to have as a builder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, 20 gallon like water tank in here. Nice. And there go. 20 gallon water tank, fill station. And then to um, kind of offset the weight, I put all the batteries all the electronics on this side. So that is my battery. And I put a 3000 watt inverter in here just only for in the future that if I wanted to add more panels to it, it could, you know, accept it. I love working with the Renogy products. Uh -huh. It's super user friendly. It's visually friendly. Like I, the last solar unit I use, a I forgot what company it was, but it was just like that's a, called the, the charge controller, and the charge controller on the other one didn't have any LED anything on there. And then my fuse box is all located right here. Just out of curiosity, and I don't know if you guys want to share the information, but what was your build out cost? Um, the build out cost in materials uh, was 15000 uh -huh. The priciest being the shower. The shower alone was $5,000 in materials. <laughs> that was a $90, $90 square foot. Yeah, uh -huh. so like, you can definitely go way cheaper in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> um, his father is like, like my baby, because like, the shower was definitely the biggest cost in, its, uh, in this entire build. Yeah. For that reason. The garage space is mine. Yes. It looks so nice. <laughs> yeah. And I love how you guys made the um, headboard like that too. Thanks. Like how it kind of, actually made that. That's so pretty. Thank yeah. you. you did such a good job. Thank you. Uh, did you install the so solar panels on mm -hmm. on the roof? Yep. I can't really you see them, but up, you want to climb up here on the ladder? Sure. Oh, you, you just gotta close the door though first. Yeah. What did you like most about the van? Well, obviously the shower. I'm really big on having a shower in the van, and it was just amazing to be able to see it up close. Didn't you feel like yeah, that too? Yeah, I, I thought it looked really nice, and and you got in there. Yeah, it it fit. I I fit in there really well, and I'm about five nine, so 
And also, I mean, width-wise, not even just height-wise, but width-wise, you know, it was like you actually had some space in there, didn't you feel Yeah, like that? and Joe was really creative in expanding the upper area about three and a half inches wider uh, than the shower pan. So, so that you can move a, your arms. Yeah, that gave some arm room. Really important for girls. Maybe not people with no hair, but people with hair could really use that extra space, yeah. <laughs> right, to do a little scrubbing. Yeah. Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. We loved the shower. They keep their van a little bit darker than I would like it. I know Jen really likes to have that kind of darkness while she's sleeping, which I know a lot of people love. I'm one of those people that loves to be woken up by the sun. I know that's super weird. Also, with windows, you have to sacrifice some temperature control for light if you want to do that. Yeah. And what did you think overall? We, we still weren't able to test out the concept of a convertible bed, which is something that we really want to test before we build our own van. So I don't know how we're going to accomplish that. But And they did have a fixed bed. But what I liked most about the van build was the way Joe incorporated the big garage in the back. He did a really great job. Um, it allows for a lot of space, mountain bikes and... It had to be the prettiest garage we've ever yeah, seen on was, a van. It was really right? nice. Nice and I mean, big. it looked like a beautiful home garage. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it, was it was perfect. It was really big and yeah, spacious. Super nice. So we're so thankful to them for showing us around. We hope that it was helpful to you too. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. We'll answer you or Joe and Jen will answer you. And we will also link their company if you're looking to have a van build done. They do custom builds. Or if you're trying to remodel a trailer or RV, they do that too. Okay, if you liked anything about this video, please hit the like button um, and subscribe and hit that bell so that you're notified every time we do a new video on Sundays. And if you're trying to do the same thing, a great place to find vans is either through Outdoorsy or RV Share. We get a lot of questions about that.